Hello. Hello and welcome back to Star Maid. If there's any background noise, I apologize. I also don't remember what was in this design previously when I last made a video and uh, versus what is there now. So I'm going to start out by saying my cargo pod hasn't changed yet. I haven't made a new version of it yet, although I will be doing that. The main ship, uh, I think it had the rails and everything already. It has cameras now. I don't think they were there before. The beacons are off right now. Um, just kind of... Yeah, I just decided they would be off by default. You might have noticed the lights are flashing. I know for certain that they weren't flashing last time. So now we have a sequence where... Actually, let me go from right here so you can see the reflection of the red and green. You can see they have a sequence with a small gap between it. The small gap would flash the beacons if you activated the beacon flasher because there is a beacon flasher. But there is also an option to have the beacons on without flashing, which I think is pretty cool. And the interior is complete, so... Let's do a... Actually, you know what? I'm going to actually get out as a person in the game and show you the interior. <laughs> Unfortunately, to do that temporarily for the time being, I have to escape from uh, the inside that is unfinished, the non-interior interior, and uh, come around this way. So, Plex door, come into the little airlock here, and we have a gravity module. We have easy access for the AI. Obviously, if this was in AI mode, that is a uh, fairly vulnerable location, but this ship isn't meant to be in any kind of combat anyhow, so I'm not expecting it to be able to do much. And here we have a little cargo room. So we have this block here, and basically all the space in here is space that you could put cargo in through this particular storage. It's got enough space for 1.4k. That is our main cargo. We have an emergency closable airlock thing there for no particular reason other than role play. Uh, we have little uh, blah, 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 display modules telling you what's up here. These are similar to the ones on the bridge. I don't remember if the ones on the bridge were there or not. We have a personal storage, so it's only got uh, 100 volume units. Uh, this is essentially the bed for the one person that runs the ship, or if you have two people, I guess you could have a shift and one of them has the bed while the other is working or whatever. We have a little thing here telling you cockpit and recreation upstairs. Shuttle access that way, airlock slash cargo that way. Oh yeah. There's a shuttle now, and the head slash quarters there, and... What? The fuck? What? The actual fuck? Wha- What? What, what, what? 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 Oh my god! Full reverse! Oh shit! Uh, we've da- we've been- the armor's been damaged! Oh god! Um, oh good, we have jump drives! I forgot we have jump drives! Blind jump activating! All right, right click. It's already charged, activating, and we are going that way. Fuck! Oh my god! Did I really? Was I really next to a? Pi I can't move the mouse at all. Um, hmm, that's an interesting problem. Why can't I move the? Uh, why can't I move the mouse? All right. Um, so yeah, took out our shields, did some damage to the hull. Uh. Took out armor. I'm gonna just let this charge up before I do anything else, just kind of as a uh, backup emergency kind of thing. I can't slow down. Okay, I am slowing down. Good. Uh, let me just. Huh? Huh? What? 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 I have AI simulation off. What happened? All right. So I know we got attacked on the fucking front end. Holy shit! All right. Fortunately, it looks like uh, it looks like nothing inside was damaged. It was just this hole here, and uh, obviously this cargo pod got wrecked. Um, so I think I will just get rid of that cargo pod and repair this. My God, um, is there anything on navigation right now? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's let's make sure we're we're taking a look at everything. Okay, good, good. Um, so that won't happen again, hopefully. Fortunately, nothing important was damaged, so I should be able to easily repair what's here. But, uh, yeah, I didn't have a blueprint saved, or at least I'm 99% certain I didn't have a blueprint saved, which is uh, unfortunate. I was actually going to save one in this episode, like, while I'm, while I'm doing things today. Oh, yeah, we have incredibly slow shield recharge right now because we have a single recharge module up here placed temporarily while I finish up the interior design. Essentially, uh, I haven't decided exactly how it's going to go yet. We don't have any shield capacity modules either, so this thing is very vulnerable at this time. 
Anyhow, I've made it back inside safely. So we have, uh, as it said, this is the head and quarters, and so there's the quarters, and then this is the head. So here we got a little toilet with water that you can't fall into. Huh, I thought I thought water was a uh, non-solid block in this game, but I, I guess not. Another gravity module here, and uh, you can see this is a sink. This is actually uh, one of these consoles, like over there, turned upside down. Uh, I forget who gave me that idea. I was streaming while I was working on this, and uh, they gave me that idea, and it was awesome, so I did it. Um, this hallway, there's actually a storage container. I think it's this one. Yeah, there's a cargo container right here. Uh, 2.3 units, 2.3k, and it's all of these blocks here on the left, and uh, are right from this perspective. Essentially, the idea is that uh, it is overflow storage, so if you have to store stuff in the hallway, you can, and there's still enough room to walk down it, but it's normally meant to be a wider hallway. Right here, it says, yeah, overflow storage. Do not use unless main storage is full. Launch instructions. Press the button. You have three seconds to get in before the shuttle launches. So this door is supposed to be kept closed, and I, for some reason, can't click it anymore. What? Huh. I, I can't... That... I don't know. Maybe... What's... I, I don't know. Maybe I'm dumb. But, uh... Oh. It's normally easier to get into than this. Well, that's a, that's a potential problem, because I'm... I can't get in there, and if I can't get in there, then this isn't even useful, because you can't get in there. Well, I guess I'm going to have to change how that works slightly, but in any case, uh, this is an access to a shuttle here, and so you can hit this button to launch the shuttle, so you l hit the button, get in very quickly, and you can launch. Ooh, excuse me. This is a transporter, so it's just kind of built into the little hallway here, which is how you get up to the factory module and the core, and then going up the other way, you come up to the bridge pretty much immediately. You can see we have uh, ship info, system status, and navigation. Hold on, there we go. Let me sit down. You get a nice little view. We got some uh, charts over here, some little decorative stuff, as well as another terminal, and one of our two backup jump drives. And they're basically uh, backup jump drives because our main drive is actually something called a chain drive, and I'll get to that in a bit. In any case, we have, like I said, this is what we got. You notice these are actually jump drive modules in the floor and in other places as kind of a decorative thing. They're simultaneously decorative and useful because they are, like I said, our backup jump drive system. And if you come around to this side of the bridge, we have a little rec room slash kitchen area. And you can see we got like little back of the camera and display here. We got a little flower thing. We have a button to turn on flashing beacons. A button to turn on solid beacons, a med bay, a medical cabinet, which is mainly there to be a cabinet. You might have noticed one of those downstairs as well, and uh, a light here. And as you can see, we have here. So this is a clock. This is the button to activate the clock, and you can see it's tied in. So basically, it has this little note here. If the bottom right button is not flashing, you need to press it to activate the clock. This toggles the internal lights, so everything on off except for the bridge lighting because those light bars that I'm using in there don't have toggleability, and then this toggles the running lights on and off. Unlike a beacon, the running lights do not have a solid option, they just flash or aren't on. We have two chairs and a little glass table, so it's a nice little area with some... Uh, what the hell are these? I don't remember what these are. Is this the bottom of a jump drive module? Maybe they are. I don't remember. Oh yeah, and it's a blue chair up front. Yeah. Normally I use black for chairs, but black just made it look like it was unlit, like it wasn't lit properly, so I decided to go with blue this time, and I feel it works a bit nicer. In any case, that's the interior. Now on the exterior, we of course have a damaged hole and a power system, which I'm going to... Yeah, I will like. I would, I would like to reboot the uh, system. Thank you. <laughs> Because I forgot about the whole rebooting mechanic, so obviously I won't be able to reboot the armor. I have to go to a shop to fix that, but uh, I can at least take care of the shields. Um, actually, I think I will oh, excuse me, set a waypoint to 222 so that I can uh, warp back to the main system and use the shop there to put on my, uh, whatchamacallit, repair the armor. So rebooting, it's, it's going to stay at negative 0.1 for a minute. There we go. It's all fine put the power back, and then it'll probably give me a warning about the uh, placing armor on... Yeah, stations will repair all armor on reboots. Wait, what's... Please repair the ship before placing any armor blocks. Oh, did we lose something? No, that's the toilet, so nothing of value was lost there. Although, 
I may have had a piece of this conduit going down there. Oh wait, nope, it goes down right here, so no, it did not go down there, so that's definitely perfectly fine as is. Oh, there we go. Other than going to get the hole fixed at the station. Yes, I'm yawning. Sorry about that. Anyhow, let's quickly take a look on the inside here where we can, since I already did a little bit. We have this whole uh, delay block clusterfuck back here that's uh, powering the shuttle system here. We got um, power modules. We got like three separate power systems going throughout the ship, maybe four, that are going down most of the ship to uh, power everything. What is this? Oh yeah, this is part of that interior that's hidden. And we got... Uh, yeah, this is part of the, this is the bathroom right behind that. That's the bathroom in there and stuff here. The uh, the front is all the front lower part is all interior. Um, there's no oh yeah, there's a little crack in here and then this is the main center bit where there's some little extra space to put stuff in. And uh, behind the main bridge and stuff, we have our whole clock system for the logic and lights and stuff. And we got you know some little gaps here and there going up and gap here. This big old open spot in here, and uh, finally we have, you might have noticed there's two docked entities here. I'll get to that in a bit. Actually, I changed my mind. I will get to it now. First, I need to turn off the lighting, or rather click the lighting but lighten button so we can see things a bit better in here. So you can see we have our power systems in here, the logic there, like I was saying, and here... We have, oh good, there's my pickup points. Good, good, I still have those placed. I was afraid I'd remove them. And if I'd remove them, it would make it more difficult to do the system, to, to handle the thing with the cores here. So essentially, these cores here operate as part of a clock system. There's a uh, 3 by 4 by 5 section of blocks back here with um, these little pickup points added onto them that essentially allow us to have these jump drives go. And if you've not heard of the concept, it's called a chain drive and basically what you do is you have a longer initial charge up time but faster jump jumping once you actually charge up your jump drives um, that said I believe this currently charges faster than my regular jump drives so that's pretty cool and uh, the official design actually has more jump drives and modules along the back here um, it actually has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It has 12, but I removed all except for 3 because this ship is so small it can only handle the power requirements to charge 3 at a time. And so, you know, it's not so not as good, but still good. And it looks like we have a section of hole missing right here, actually. So uh, our damage was not entirely limited to... Is that beacon damaged? No, that beacon's fine. It's just a lighting bug down here. Yeah, it's just a lighting bug. But yeah, but you know. no way. I know what that is. That's not damage. I dug that hole out so that I could get out at one point because I was trapped in here. And I forgot to put it back for a long time. I remember that. Jeez. Damage in here. Oh yeah, so there's all the invisible blocks that are the cargo space in here. And it looks like it blew away those too. I didn't know those could be damaged like that. Although it kind of makes sense, I suppose. Like you've damaged the carrying capacity of it. It's pretty freaking cool. In any case, it's now time to be on the bridge camera. I'm going to finish charging the second jump drive because it is our emergency quick jump drives, just in case something goes wrong or we get inhibited. The uh, the big weakness to a chain drive is that uh, they're very, very weak to inhibitors, whereas these normal systems I have will be a bit stronger against that. But in any case, I'm activating the new chain drive. And the reason it's labeled as new chain drive, that reminds me, let me very quickly show you how these are going back and forth rapidly. So you can see, once it activates, we go very quickly, and then we should jump again really quick. Although, uh, the charging may not be, they may not be like fully charged, so right now you can see they're, they're cycling. Those, those cores in there are rushing back and forth very quickly, and that is essentially the clock that powers the chain drive. And uh, it's basically, like I said, it's faster warping, um, and the reason it's called the new chain drive is because I'm using a newer design. The older design was 3 by 3 by 12 and due to a change in star made physics or whatever it it no longer works however uh this new design which is three by four by five does work so there we go and uh oh good we're jumping exactly there so i will now deactivate it and we are in sector two 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 which means i have some stuff about chain chain drives and cargo pods and other things because this is where 
I was working on things. Oh yes, that's the example of the clock that uh, powers the system. In any case, I'm going to eh, I'm going to select the shop and head on over there. You know, it just occurred to me that the uh, the speed of the thrusters on this I don't really like, so I think I will add more thrusters to it as well. Ah, there's a repairs tab. I was about to say I don't know how to repair things, but uh, yes, repairing will not be instant. Oh, it will be instant, but it'll cost uh, 1,424. So there we go. We've repaired the ship. Um, did that repair the armor on the that part too? I don't know. I don't really care. Why am I moving? Huh. Weird. All right. Well, I'm now trapped in here again. I will hopefully get that fixed pretty soon. Uh, is it? It's up there. God, this is this is what I cut out earlier in this video. Every time I got out of the chair, I had to find out how to get out of here. Oh yeah, it's over this way. All right, there you go. I'm not close enough to reach. Oh no, I was close enough to reach. Oh damn it, I didn't time it right that time. The last time I got lucky and timed it right. Oh fuck. Eh. I don't remember how to cancel gravity. Fuck. When you're in it. No. Okay, okay, okay. Good. I got out. Yeah, hopefully the next time I get in, I will be able to fix that, um, which it just occurred to me, the next time I get in is going to be in just a moment, because right now I'm going to first, hopefully, yes, get in here. All right, is this pod damaged at all? I don't think it is, but I can't be 100%, oops, come on, can't be 100%, fuck, certain. <laughs> Uh, is that it? That's it right there. The transport V2. Let me get myself a little ship to go over there quicker. But essentially, I'm going to remove the damage pod and then uh, upload a blueprint of what's left. And just say that, you know, hey, this is the version as it is right this moment. And it will be improved in the future. But right now, there is a pod missing because of damage that I suffered. Yeah, it looks like the damage didn't go into the other side. It just was this part. So that should be fine. Very nice. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, like the design or don't or whatever. Doesn't really matter to me. To me. To me. What the fuck is going on? I don't know. I'm just gonna... Yep, there we go. It got smooshed out. Yeah, uh, pods are not meant to be undocked. They're meant to be shot out. So, just so you know. That is a thing that you should not be doing. There we go. Oh, let's align to this. And, uh, yeah. Like I said, it'll just be missing a pod for now. Let me just look, double check. Yep, the damage has been repaired. We are all good. Thanks for watching. And as always, see you in space. And remember, I have a Patreon. Because I'm supposed to mention that. Because people forget I have it. And I need money. Uh.